girls don't like men who like them. I put this up every once in a while. Boy, does it get a reaction. It always gets a reaction. And it's really true. And there's, and I can, I can cite this. And I need to pull the study up. <laughs> there are studies that show women find men who are unclear about their feelings yeah. towards her are more attractive. Again, how many guys, and we even use this, like always use the jumbotron rule, will like pour their guts out in a letter oh, or a text. Letter. It used yes. to be letters. A text, an email, <laughs> oh, and then the girl prints it and shows all of her friends. Or she sh she screen caps your exchange and yeah. shows it to all of her friends in the group or on Facebook. You name it. Yeah. Girls, always use a jumbotron rule. Is there anything you wouldn't want projected onto the jumbotron during the Super Bowl? You don't say it in text or writing. Right. It should always be. When you send a text, it should be something that if a guy sees that, he goes, I bet that guy gets laid a lot. Yeah. That's the reaction you want is, I bet he gets laid a lot. And that's the right text to send. Well, like when, when you know, there's a real trend apparently of girls posting their texts, like screen caps of the text. And there have been several that have come kind of in our world, through our world, or the guy did it completely right. She's trying to make him look like a dick, but it's like, no, he was he was pretty spot on there. He yeah. was doing Roger that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And no she's problem. Start, and she's starting to roll. And she's just but <laughs> but she's never been more excited than when she's doing the oh, it's more like this. You know, when she's when she's just frantically messaging him yeah. and she's all worked up. She's not she's not talking to anybody else right then. She is yeah. She's all worked up about you. She's not bored. No. That's pretty It goes funny. a long way. But again, girls, that's why it's better to be a little bit more neutral than effusive. No compliments, no gifts, especially in the beginning. Yet there's stuff you can do down the road after she's slept with you a few times and invested in you. And it's obvious that she's. Well, and let's go around. through those different steps because, like, it's one thing not to like walk into the first date and be like, oh my God, you're the most beautiful woman I've ever sat down in front of. But as you are in relationship, as you are dating a little bit more, you we have to give a little bit more than just the front end stuff. You know, like then it's okay to be like, I like that dress on you. Yes. You know, yes. you're not, you're not being like, a dick all the time. No, no, no. You have to you have to back that off at a certain point. Girls need some validation. And and, and it's funny because it doesn't take much. No. Because girls will be sleeping with a guy for like six months and they'll be like, I don't even know if he likes me. You know, yeah. of course she's it's a general feeling and he's you know obviously he's still there. Right. Um but yes in in complimentary Again, it's calibration. Right. Because not all, it's kind of like gift giving. You really have to kind of like test the waters because some girls just do not appreciate gifts. Yes. And so if you give one or two small things and there's like no appreciation, you know not to do it anymore. If she appreciates give, you giving her a bag of Skittles, yeah, she'll appreciate yeah. anything else you give her. Little things. You know. Yeah. Little things. How she reacts to it. Because some girls are just not good at it. Yeah. It has nothing to do with you. No. Nothing to do with the quality of her caring about you. She may be a great girlfriend, wife, mother, but get, getting gifts is not her thing. Yeah. You know, they have all kinds of issues for whatever reason. So it's not something you should employ. You right. know, you can one or two things, but you just test it out, but you don't force it. Not all girls. I mean, this is one of those things that you see with guys that like, like the flowers on the third day. And then it's not appreciated. Yes. You know, you yes. Know, just a bad idea. Yeah. Make her, I, I think the best way to say it is kind of get her to stages where she earns compliments, where she earns the nice dinners, sure. where she earns yeah. flowers occasionally, yeah. where she earns things of that nature, compliments, gifts, all of that kind of stuff. Because what do you like? Yeah, you know, like, yeah, it's true. I mean, it's, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. But make sure that she's, First, reciprocating that she yes. she's, she's previewing that to you, and then you know a little bit down the road, yeah. kind of like you don't say I love you first. You wait till she says I love you. Or like on the third day, let's say she 
comes over to your house like on the third day and rearranges your furniture and hangs all of your stuff on the wall. He had art <laughs> all along the ground. He has all this wonderful art and he had it all uh, just leaning on the wall. I'm an artist. If there's, I, if there's interior design, you know, tendencies in the third or fourth day, she's probably trying, she's gonna, she's planning on sticking around. <laughs> Not trying to make it look good for the next girl. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Ah, you're so funny. But girls don't want you to give it away too easy. Yeah. So kind of guard your feelings. Um, That's the best best way. Mask it a little bit. Exactly. They've got enough guys telling them they're pretty, texting them, talking them up. Yeah. She wants your attention. You give her your attention and. Over time, she'll earn the praise that she's looking for from you. And I think that this next one 